Hello and welcome to a taste test video. We're gonna do a pot stickers taste test video. Occasionally we like to test out different kinds of you know food and decide which one we like the best. So the first one we did, it was just the two of us, and I was having a bad day. I went to the grocery store and I came home with three or four different kinds of frozen frozen mozzarella sticks. And we decided which ones we like the best. And then like we've done hot dogs and what else have we done? Meatballs? Yeah. Frozen meatballs. Today it's pot stickers, so let me show you the pot stickers we're gonna try today. First we have these feel good foods chicken pot stickers. These are gluten free, which is cool. Then we have the Pagoda chicken pot stickers. And last we have the Bibigo mini wontons with pork and vegetables. So these are pork and vegetable dumplings. So these two are gonna be more similar, but we're gonna cook them all the same and see which one we like the best. So do you have any thing you would like to say to the people, I'm Mom? I'm so glad to be a volunteer. <laughs> and I sacrifice myself for this project. You volunteer, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, what, how I like to cook these, you can microwave them, but I have a great big uh, skillet over here. I'm gonna put some water and a little bit of oil in here. It feels like it's about to. Yeah, go ahead and take that off the heat. She's making a simple syrup, so. Um, we're gonna put some water and some oil in here, and then we will put the lid, or put the dumplings in, put the lid on, and wait until the water evaporates, and then they will be done. So let's go ahead and get started cooking these. Before we get started, I just want to show you what was in the box. So, the feel good foods, gluten free ones. It was one big bag. There's 10 wontons, pot stickers in here with one bag of sauce. Inside the, the pagoda box, excuse me, there were two bags with five dumplings eaten in each, and then two little bitty packets of sauce. And then inside this, there is no sauce, and it does say right here, sauce not included. So, inside this bag is just a great big bunch of these cute little dumplings so I'm not sure about price point but so far my guess is this one's the best deal but not entirely sure so now we can get started cooking these are frozen so we're gonna start with frozen wonton slash pot stickers and then we'll cook them okay I started with one cup of water and just a couple tablespoons of oil and brought it up to medium high heat. We're doing five of each one. So we've got the gluten-free ones right here, the white. These big ones over here are the pagoda and then these little ones are the pork. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the lid. It looks like I put six of those little ones in there. Oops. So we're just gonna cook this until that water totally evaporates, probably check on it in just about five or six minutes, but it might take longer than that, we'll see. All right, Emma's happy with her Long Island. She's made one for her and one for her mom. This is mom. And I've got the dipping sauces out, so this is the dipping sauce that came with the Feel Good Foods one. This is the dipping sauce, one just one of those packets that came with the Pagoda ones. Um, and we have prices now. The Feel Good Foods, this box was almost $8. This box was about $4, and this was about $7. So these were by far the best deal. And we did do these in like Walmart order pickup. So these are not the ones that we ordered. These are the ones that they substituted. So that's why they're different, but it's fine. I think they're gonna be just fine. And I checked this box. This box has the instructions for like pan frying them. It says eight to 12 minutes. These are bigger. So I did start these first, but we'll see how long it takes these to cook. Um, these are fully cooked, which is good. It says, about five minutes to pan fry, so. Um, these might be coming out first, I don't know. We'll see, but anyway, very excited to try these. Okay, it's been closer to 10 minutes than anything, but I kept the lid on, I just took the lid off until just now, just because we're getting really, really close. It's gonna be really tempting to take them off, okay? Because you're gonna think, oh no, they're gonna burn. The whole point is to make them um, crispy on the bottom. So we steam them first to cook them and heat them all the way through and kind of rehydrate the um, wrapper. But now that they are rehydrated, we're making crispy. So don't be scared, it's fine, totally fine. Okay, they came out actually with very little trouble. The most trouble I had was with the gluten-free ones, but these are the pagoda ones. Look how pretty those are. The pan looks disgusting, but it's fine. So we have our little um, pork 
ones. Look how crispy that is on the bottom. It's hot. We've got, I did six of those. So we have two for each person. These are the gluten-free ones. This is the pagoda, but like the crispy bottom. Look how pretty those are. Now, I think we're ready for a taste test. You ready, Emma? I'm ready, I'm so ready. Cool. Mom, where do you want to start? You want to start with the little ones? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I went no dipping sauce first. It's sort of bland, but the crispy on the bottom is really yummy. I really like the crunch. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So we like the little ones. Next, we'll go gluten-free. Mmm. That's got something in it. The flavor of this one, the filling, is really good. Mmm. I don't even know that this one needs a dipping sauce. This mm -hmm. one's really tasty. So these are the pagoda? Yes. So the last ones are the pagoda. And you cooked all three together, correct? I did. I did so all they, three in the same pan, all at the same time. They did not brown at the same... Right. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. I love the crunch on this one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think the flavor of the gluten-free... Filling? Is, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's really a good flavor. Yeah. I've got some thoughts. I want to try these dipping sauces, and then we can do our final thoughts and rankings. All right, let's rank them. So, um, Mom, do you want to go first? I liked the crunch on the last one that I ate the best, but I liked the filling flavor of the gluten-free the best. I agree. I think the sauces helped each and every one of them. Do you have a favorite sauce? Mm, no, no, I really don't. Yeah, I don't either. I do. You do? I like the dark one. Okay. Do you have, do you want to rank them, Emma? Which one was your favorite? This is actually my ranking. One, two, three. I preferred the flavor of the filling of the gluten-free. I preferred the wrapper and the flavor of the wrapper and the texture of the wrapper and then the way that this one cooked. The, so this one is actually probably my favorite just based on the way that it cooked, the way it reheated, the um, crispy of the, of the wrapper, and then the sauces I thought helped to this one. And these were my least favorite. Not that's to say not were bad. Yeah, that's not to say they were bad, but these I thought were better. I don't know that this is worth paying double the price right. of this. No. Unless you're gluten free. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. I liked all of them and we will eat all of them. And we do have three more over here. We've got two more of the pagoda and one more of the gluten free. So Well, that's because I already sampled another one of the other. Yeah, we had we had two more of these and she's eaten that, so that's okay. That's the whole point is to eat them. But these are yummy. Look how crispy those got. And those I are mean, the pagoda? Yeah. I mean, I just, they all cooked. And I wanted to do it all the same. So they all were in the same pan for the same amount of time. I, did, I, did, put, I did put the gluten-free in first. But, I mean, the difference was maybe 15 seconds. Yeah. So. But they needed that extra time. Yeah, because these are much bigger. I will give them that. These are big. These are pretty close. But these are really dense with filling. These are, you know, have a little more gap. But, gosh, they're so good. This was a good idea. Thanks, guys. Because this wasn't my idea. This was their idea. Thanks, guys. Final thoughts? Any last final thoughts? Pot stickers are good. Yeah, they are yummy. Hashtag pot sticker. And this was faster than delivery. Much. And cheaper. Yeah, because oh if, if we had done delivery, we'd have to pay, you know, for them to be delivered and also pay for the stickers. And then these are hot because we made them here. My only tip is like to, like it says, put the water in, don't be afraid, put the oil in, cover it so that it will reheat, rehydrate the wrapper, cook the whole thing all the way through because it's already cooked probably. You just need to make sure that it's warm all the way through, and these were. And then just be very patient. Wait until all the water is gone. You're going to think, oh no, it's going to stick to the pan. But if you cook it right, they will kind of get crispy and basically seal themselves off from the pan so they will lift off very easily and you won't have to unstick them. So if they're stick sticking, if they're sticking to your skillet, you didn't cook them long enough. So would you say be patient and wait? Isn't that what I said? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she was too busy eating. Yeah. I she's too busy eating. I couldn't hear anybody talking over Crunch, 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 crunch. But yeah, be patient. Just let them cook, let them do all the cooking, let the water completely evaporate and then wait for them to release themselves. Don't start moving them around. Just leave them be. So there you go. Those are my final tips.
I think that's where we're gonna end today's video. We're gonna probably heat up more of these later. I'm very hungry. Because so it is not like yet that. game time. It's 3.30, we've got a couple of hours before game time. By the time you see this, it'll all be over. The whole thing, the whole thing. You guys will know more than we do at this point, so. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Bye, everybody. Bye.